How's it going everybody thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here thanks for watching how's it going everyone welcome back to the source code my name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at creating custom player heads uh, player heads can be commonly seen on lots of game servers for showcasing somebody with the most kills, most points, uh, whatever it may be. So we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how you can actually get these custom heads. I'm not gonna show you how you can, you know, look for the values and whatnot, but you'll understand the fundamentals to get the player heads. And then, you know, if you have those player heads down on a certain position, you save that position, change it based on who is number one, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but once again, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. Link should be on the screen now. Also, make sure not to skip around this video or you guys could miss a line of code which greatly affect the outcome of your plugin. So, I just burped. This shouldn't be that long of a tutorial. I'm going to say probably six or seven minutes. Um, but first things we have to do is we have to create a new item stack because the skull is an item more or less, right? So we want to go ahead and go item stack and we're going to do it when the player joins um just you know keep things very fast um so at event handler public void um whatever value you want player join event event so we're going to call this uh we'll call actually we'll call it player skull because that's what it's going to end up being and it's going to end up being a new item stack of material dot skull item and then we want to have oh, whoops Yep, we want to have one of those. And then we want to actually go ahead and do a short. And then we're going to go ahead and say skull type dot player dot ordinal. I know, very, very long. Uh, all right, and then we want bucket item stack. This is for the right things. And then the next thing we have to do is we have to get what's called skull meta, right? And skull meta allows us to get the values of the actual skull, um, which is sort of like an entity, like a block kind of thing. Um, but it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to explain, right? So we'll just go ahead and say, oops, not call, call meta. Skull meta, meta equals skull meta. And it's going to be player skull dot get item meta all right now what we have to do next we have to set the owner of the of the skull right so we'll go ahead and say meta dot set oops meta dot set owner and it's going to be well we never imported players so we'll just call player dot get name there and then we'll go ahead and say player player equals event dot get player and we'll go ahead and import that and we don't need that there we need this here all right and then we have to set the display name which is going to be meta dot set display name and now since we're doing it for you know an on join it can be really whatever you want some people might actually go ahead and have it be sort of like your character info or sort of like player statistics so we'll just go ahead and say chat color dot purple like uh, light or dark purple and we'll say player info and then what we have to do now is very simple we just have to go ahead and add this mess or add this item to the player's inventory right because it's just an item so we'll go ahead and say uh, well first off we actually have to player skull dot set item meta meta and then we'll go ahead and say player dot add oops dot get inventory no get inventory dot add item and we'll go ahead and add player skull and then you know what we'll actually just send the player a message and we will say chat color just so we can confirm chat color dot green oh uh, no let's not use green let's use uh dark aqua I like this color it's one of my favorite colors my favorite color um, please refer to your player head for player info all right 
So now every time we join the server, it's going to add that item to our inventory. Um, so the skid end up being good, bad, don't know. Find out. So once we join, we have our player head here, uh, which I don't think it has my skin, uh, which is extremely weird. Probably if we, I know it's it's kind of clunky. Um, so if we actually let's try rejoining. There we go. Um, I have my my player head there. Let's just go ahead and clear our inventory. See if it works again here. If we join the server, there we go. There is my player head. It has my skin. And now, obviously, you can set, um, you know, it's lower and whatnot, but we're not going to go into that. But you can see there now we have our custom head uh, with the name of player info. So players can go here to refer to all their info. You can do, you know, click inventory, or, yeah, inventory click event um, or enter inventory interact event um, and pull up all those statistics there for the players. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. I know, like I said, very short, quick video. Um, I'll go over this really quickly here. Um, so we're getting the player from the event. We're creating a new item stack with the short of a skull type of a player, right? Because we want it to be um, a player. Um, let me just, I don't even know where skulls are. So there's different types of skulls here. There's skeleton, wither, zombie, the player head, the creeper head, and the dragon head. Now I don't totally know if we need ordinal here, so. Yes, okay, so we do need uh, the ordinal here. There we go and yeah and then we are setting we are using skull meta and not item meta because we want to get the skull values um, so we're doing skull skull meta which is a, sort of a, a branch of item meta in a, in a way uh, and then we're getting the meta we're setting the owner as the player then we're setting the display name we're setting the meta we're adding it to the inventory and we are sending a message so once again thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe like i said very quick video super quick lesson but thanks for watching